Is this report accurate? I know it sounds hard to believe. The Center for Space Development. Destroyed in an instant. We detected a strong energy flow seconds before the blast itself. On-site reports describe a bright light from high in the atmosphere. What? No, it couldn't be. Get me the control center at Westham, now! Right away, sir. Mr. Secretary, sorry to barge in like this, sir, but we've got trouble. We just received word from the terrorists. I'll set it up so you can view it here. Terrorists. My name is Kenneth Coleman. I am the leader of the Crying Lion. I want to make sure you understand your very precarious position. There is only one way to prevent a repeat performance of what happened to the center for space development. You must follow our instructions perfectly and immediately. First, you must withdraw all military personnel from Sarkozia. Second, you must publicly confess your crimes and make an apology renouncing your invasion. Third, you must swear before the entire world that you will never again interfere with Sarkozia. There is no room for discussion. Our demands are final. Failure to comply will invoke dire consequences. I am certain you understand what I mean. Your unholy weapon of destruction serves our purpose well. Make your decision quickly. That is all. As far as we can determine, they appear to be the last remnants of a military resistance group defeated during the Sarkozian Civil War. Sarkozia! Well, have you located the satellite's present position? I'm afraid not, sir. The satellite control center was destroyed with the space center. Damn! Well, that rules out our new anti-satellite missiles. Mr. Secretary, we don't have much time. Have you considered sending in the army? They'd never make it in time. Those damn flying lions would hit us before we even got moving. I believe it was the crying lion, sir. Get word to SCAT headquarters. I want them in the air immediately. Brilliant, sir. If anyone can handle a job like this, it's them. I'll send word right away. You do that. Listen up, people! Especially you, Jake. I'm going to explain our mission. As you know, the Space Center has been completely destroyed. The Gulf system, right. It can hit any spot on Earth with pinpoint accuracy. So basically, they've called us in to penetrate the fortress at West Ham. And take back control of the satellite from the bad boys. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. I can't believe they made such a crazy weapon in the first place. Then to have it stolen by a bunch of terrorists, what a joke! Shut up, Jake, and let me finish. We're to take back control of the Gulf system, and if this fails, shut it down. Permanently. Our illustrious intelligence agency tells us this thing has an unlimited power source. However, it takes several hours to charge between blasts. That gives us time before they fire again. And they will fire again. You can count on it. 
We've got to hit them, and hit them hard. If not, well, you saw the footage on the Space Center. There is no, I repeat, no margin for error. The control center is hidden beneath an old factory. And there are only two ways to reach it. The first is a high security express elevator in the main office building. The second is a large freight elevator located in the northwest section of the complex. We've no time to waste. That's why our main target is the express elevator. We all head there, except for Steve, Matt, and Law. I want you three to secure the freight elevator. We don't know if they can listen or not, so keep communications to a minimum. What the? We're losing power! Fast! Straighten this bird out! I can't! It's not responding! Sir! Get up while you can! Damn! Listen up! Scrap the rendezvous at the drop point! You're on your own! Find a way in and carry out your orders! Fall out, soldiers! Well, aren't we off to a nice start? You okay, Matt? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. See you on the ground, Jean-Luc. One slip and I'll be fried!
Matt! You're okay! So far, so good. I haven't seen anyone else yet. They'll turn up. They always do. It's the CO I'm worried about. What? What happened? By the time I was ready to jump, the chopper was completely out of control. I was barely able to get out myself. When I looked back, it had burst into flames. And Dan was still inside. But remember, we're talking about Daredevil Dan here. A little fire couldn't stop our fearless leader. I hope you're right. Well, at least things can't get any worse. Not after the start we've just had. Honestly, John Luke, I didn't expect there to be so many of them. If we make it out of here alive, I think I'll start going to church again. It won't help to think about it. There's only one way out. I guess you're right. Okay, break time's over. Let's get those bastards. Now you're talking. Let's go. Matt!
Get away! 